Hi, Series Reviews here, Battle Lawyer, and today mentions New Game Plus Plus Studio, episode 193. And you can see E160 Quadrillion Antimatter, but more importantly, I have enough ghostly rays to do the next light empowerment. And I'm going to do a couple ghost of eyes before that. Like, actually, I think I should just quantum just to try to get more, like, neutrinos and just more antimatter that way. This should help me get more. Also, I'm up to 22 automator charge. So yeah, quantuming actually is gonna help here, and maybe it'll also help with the neutrino grinding. So currently I have um, E1844 neutrinos. With this, I should be able to get, actually it's not really gonna be a lot. Like if you see here, it's not gonna be. It's E1847 barely. So yeah, it's not worth it to grind neutrinos. I guess it's more just worth it to um, big rip at this point, and first just try to get as far as I can, E90 billion antimatter and big rip, and E286 spins, and doesn't look, look like I'm going to get any more than 101 rewards, but more importantly are the achievements I'm going to go for. The first one I'm going to try to get is getting the 21st nano field reward without having tree upgrades. So what I, what I need to do is I need to disable some of my automator ghosts for that. So, um, I think all I need to do is just, um, stop these ones for running. So here we go, yeah, here we go. And, um, yeah, okay, that's about all I can do there. And I can get E1138 ghost particles, which is pretty good. I can probably maybe even get a little more if I get some of these multipliers. So, yeah, that, that's that. And... All I need to do is just get yeah, 21st nano fail reward with having tree upgrades. I guess I'm just going to ghostify and then go into big rip and go into nano field. Uh, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm out, oh, I'm out of prions. That, that's what it is. Um, okay, I, I, I need, I need, um, I need prions first. So hopefully this should be pretty easy, I think. Yeah, now I have E80 something prions. Now I probably should be able to get enough to, um, I, okay, I think I'm getting enough prions. Actually, I'm not. I need, I need E150. Actually, no, I didn't. I still got the achievement. 48 rewards, and boom, row 20 complete. So now the next one is reach E1.8 million Infinity points while dilated and big ripped with having studies, eternity point multiplier upgrades, tree upgrades, and break eternity. So this means, yeah, I need to fix eternity. So going here, fix eternity, and then I need to ghostify. But I think I also I also cannot get the eternity point multiplier upgrades. It may be I'm not sure if it's these ones or the regular ones. If you go into eternity upgrades. Here, so I'm just gonna turn both of them off, and then also go into Automator Ghosts and um, cl click off this one. And yeah, that's I think what I need to go do to get that achievement. So let's see. I I probably should just grind a few quarks and color power um, before I enter Big Rip, and then once I enter Big Rip, I need to go into Dilation and. Um, yeah, I need to get enough infinity points, and, and I cannot have any studies, so, or, or while I'm dilated, to get the achievement. I can still get studies like this Ghostify and all that. So it looks like I can get about E65 Cordillion Antimatter. I'm now going to enter Big Rip, and, um, I think Eternity is fixed. I think, yeah, I have no Eternal Matter, which means it's fixed. And now I need to, um... Um, yeah, respect out of both time studies and mastery studies, and then I then I need to um, enter dilation and then get enough infinity points, and there it is, achievement completed. Which means now I have everything in the first twenty one rows of achievements. So I think the only other achievement I need to do, well, like in this sort of ghost of like before the light empowerment is. I think over challenge, which is become a ghost with at least E375,000 eternity points while big ripped with anti dilation modifier. So, yeah, the anti dilation modifier is going to be a little bit weird. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just going to be weird. So, what I'm going to do, I can now, 
I think I can now like turn on like these again, which is you know, which is nice. And then of course I can get, I can get like the studies again. I can go out of dilation. Actually, I can probably just do this, and then probably I'll have my studies back. I think if I go yeah because. Yeah, it's because of the achievement reward of the theory of ultimate studies. When you become a ghost, you start with alternative challenges and all time studies bot. So now, yeah, I need the anti dilation modifier, which I think I can go to if I go into quantum challenges and, like, uh, yeah, modifiers, anti dilation, and it says you always have no tachyon particles. You can dilate time, but you cannot gain tachyon particles. So I think I should just go into big rip like this. And. This should, I need E 375,000 um, eternity points. So I, I can get 89 rewards, except that's not really going to help all that much. The anti dilation modifier is actually pretty harsh. Um, like you can see, even with, uh, I'm only up to E 145 spins. Maybe if I, possibly going out of big rip may give me more spins at this point. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, it's only E 129 per second, and I've, Good amount of antimatter here, so I don't think it's. I think I still need to be in bigger. Maybe I can like, I can not have the anti dilation modifier active until like the the big rip run when I'm when I'm actually gonna ghostify. Also, I haven't even done this. I haven't even got all these neutrino molds. Which yeah, that gives me e nineteen forty nine of every neutrino type. And actually, if I grind. Um, it'll be even a little bit more than that. E1954 on all neutrino types. So, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty good. And then, also, I haven't even checked Bosonic Lab. I think I was grinding, yeah, Z bosons. And I'm up to 19 sextillion Z bosons. I feel like I should be able to do something like um, extracting or decaying, like the W quark. And then also the easy chance. I'll disable this one, enable that one. And this will allow me to get some runes. I probably actually want to do Infinity Bosonic runes so I can try to upgrade the second one here. And that should allow me to get some levels. And it looks like I'm getting actually decent, like, W plus and W minus bosons. Like, maybe something like 50 quadrillion of each boson type. So, you know, that, I feel like that's pretty good. And then I'll go into just, I'll, I'll just go into Big Rip just to try to get as much spins as possible for whatever reason i only have e19 billion and big rip i don't even think i have anti dilation modifier active um i'm not exactly sure maybe it's just i lose all my tachyon part oh it's because um yeah eternity's fixed that's why that's why i couldn't make a lot of progression here um yeah i i'm up to uh i'd still want more spins than this but i guess this will do and maybe some more rewards 98 rewards and then just go out of Big Rip, then go back into Big Rip with the anti dilation modifier. And I still have, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm actually, I really don't feel like I have the anti dilation modifier active. Maybe I should just do it like this way. Yeah, I, I have less antimatter. And I'm up to E311,000 eternity points. It's not as much as I was hoping for. Maybe Attorney Challenge 10 will do something. It does something, but it's not enough. And yeah, I can't really, I cannot gain any Tachyon Particles. This is tough, and I don't think, yeah, I'm not getting any spins out of this. I'm probably not gonna get any reward. Actually, I can get some rewards out of this, but not really gonna be all that useful. I feel like, I feel like what I need to do is I just need to maybe grind in Big Rip without the anti dilation modifier a little bit, and that should Allow me, like, with E90 billion antimatter and big rip, maybe more tachyon particles. Uh, okay, no more tachyon particles, but um, it's, yeah, it's still pretty good. Um, Terry Challenge 10 doesn't do anything. What am I even, what am I even thinking? Just go back into the normal eternity runs. Retrieve the K. I'm up to, I'm getting pretty, pretty close to the 10th radioactive decay at this point. Nanofield should give me 100 rewards, and maybe with all of that, I will be able to complete this achievement. And if I'm not, maybe that's that's the best thing. I'm I'm really not sure if some of these are gonna be possible. Like I've I've heard that like especially like the last two, I've heard are like close to impossible. So 
Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be quite a journey. It's like it's almost like the post game of and trying to mention new game plus plus plus, or at least before the new update drops. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna grind in big rip here. I'm like I'm okay, I'm now close to the next radioactive decay. I all I need is just a few more of these upgrades. I'm, I'm actually surprised how slow it is considering that I have like so much much more like neutrinos and everything than like last time I went for this radioactive decay. And like more nano field rewards and just everything. So yeah, seen a bit. Here we go. I'm finally getting the um, tenth radioactive decay in some of the branches. This should start to speed everything up, and it's only e two hundred seventy three spins. I thought I was gonna get a little more than that. Um, I mean, it does help with some of the other things, but um, it really didn't help as much as I thought it would. Maybe it'll help outside of big rip. Like maybe if I if I go outside of big rip here. And I can probably be able to get some more neutrinos, you know, up to now E1992 of, like, every branch. And maybe if I get more antimatter, this will go up even more. Like, I feel like I could probably get E2000 neutrinos if I, if I was, yeah, if I was to grind properly. Um, yeah, I can, but I'm just not quite there. I'm up to E1999 with every neutrino type. Um, I'm really not sure if I should allow this to go all the way to I, i'm not sure if i'm going to really be able to get the e three hundred seventy five thousand eternity points while big ripped with the anti-dilation modifier i'm really not sure because like even with this i don't i'm it's really not not that promising i only have 99 rewards even though i don't think that's much of a deal but yeah i'm i'm not very hopeful that i'll be able to beat this so I'm, I'm i'm gonna try but i i'm not very helpful so e3 17,000 attorney challenge 10 e3 50,000 that's probably about it i don't see anything else i can actually do here so this achievement i think is impossible which is a little surprising i thought i thought that it was gonna be a little easier than that but Maybe the, maybe this I've heard this achievement row as a whole is just very hard, and like even like the progression based ones like get E three oh eight eternity stat is like like I can't even do that. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go for some more achievements next episode. Event um especially the one hundred sixty five pair challenges ranking like that that's gonna take a while to get. Maybe I'll just do the light empowerment now. Because I feel like I feel like that's what I should do at this point. So, yeah. If I just do, I also I'm already in the Ghostify. So you know I'm I'm just gonna do the light empowerment. So here we go. Tenth light empowerment. Yes, this should give me a lot of dark matter. Actually, it does a Ghostify reset for me. So yeah, that's not even that much of a deal. At, at least I have some more neutrinos. And I feel like if I just yeah, I think the best early way just grind this is to just go in now to big rip a couple times and that should easily get me a lot of ghostly rays so you can see uh, 10 trillion per second 15 20 trillion per second up to the limit and then once i hit that limit i can go back here i should probably actually you know get nano fail rewards and get um like quark spins i'm up to e195 spins not really all that much. I feel like if I get nano field, yeah, I'm up to e 220 spins, 94 rewards, which is a lot, a lot better at this point, and that should definitely help the like the ghostly photon stuff. I'm now up to the trillions per second, and like like to the point where it may only take like a day if there's like no limit here to get to the next light empowerment. It is 25 ultraviolet light though. That's gonna be quite a grind. I'm, re I'm really not sure how I'm going to be able to get that. But somehow I apparently will be able to get that. And I still only have E224 spins. Probably because, I don't know, maybe something outside of Big Rip. Yeah, actually the Space Shards. Because, I don't know, that upgrades... The, the one that buffs the Space Shards is really weird. Because it's like, you're still going in and out of Big Rip. Yet now I get the space shards out of big rip instead of in big rip, and I think the space shards is like the main factor that um, boosts the 
the cork spins, other than just being in Big Rip. So, yeah, here here we go. Let, let's see, I'm up to E89 billion in Big Rip, which is essentially where I was before. Back up to, you know, E260 spins, or it's just tough to try to get that, that last radioactive decay. I'm probably gonna again be able to get 99, but not 100 rewards. And there's really not much else I can do here. I think I'll just grind in Big Rip a bunch, and then, I mean, maybe I shouldn't because the Bosonic Watts will go down, or my Bosonic Speed will go down, and that that could have a negative impact on into this. I don't think it's gonna go down that much. I think I still will be able to get like 50 quadrillion W plus and bosons per day. So that means in two days I should be able to reach 100 quadrillion W plus bosons, which should definitely help things. And, I mean, now I'm up to E262 spins, so it's definitely possible to reach the next rate after decay in not too much time. So, yeah, there's really not much else I can do here. I'm, I'm definitely going to go for these achievements in later episodes. I, also, I will also be going for um, Quantum Challenge speedruns. You can see um, them, like, here or not here. Uh, you can see them, I think, just challenge records. Actually, they might have deleted that statistic. I, I remember seeing that. Maybe, actually, maybe it's here. Um, I know there is, like, a fastest time if you go here. Like, fastest time, five seconds. I don't know where the um, the ch quantum challenge speedruns thing went. I don't know. I, I don't know why it got removed. And it could easily be in integrated into, um, like, this diagonal, considering it's already integrated to... A lot of these other ones here so yeah I'm, I will be going for speed runs of these quantum challenges I want to get like everything under five seconds maybe except the really hard ones such as six and eight um, seven and eight and two and seven so yeah I mean the fastest time from started ghost of I here is one second and also if I want to increase this ranking I also want to um, get some like, a lot of these done with the anti-dilation modifier, not just the no dilation, which means, I guess, that means I can still have tachyon particles, but I just don't dilate, which, I, I at this point, that's, like, normal completion. Like, it's not even, like, the no dilation. I don't even need to dilate because of the quality of life stuff that's been introduced. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really think there's much else I have to say here. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.